Hey guys, let's make some home style spaghetti. We're gonna chop up all our veggies, celery, bell pepper, onion, and garlic. We have our San Marzano tomatoes, our tomato sauce, and our tomato paste. We're gonna brown off some sausages and start to saute our green peppers and onion and celery. We just with a little oil. Make sure you uh, saute those around till they're nice and tender. As they get nice and tender, add in your tomato paste. I have about a tablespoon and a half, maybe. And then completely brown your sausages the way you like. I like crust on mine, so it's totally up to you. But I'm going to brown mine off uh, until they get brown on most sides. As my tomato paste starts to brown, I just stir it in with the rest of my um, veggies and just make sure you saute it around and mix it in take out your sausages and add them to another dish as they become as brown as you like them add that to a separate dish and then add in your meat mixture as you add in your meat mixture i like to take a potato masher and to separate my meat so i just mash it down I had to get my husband to help me with these um tomatoes uh, so he added in the tomatoes for me and I start to press them down. You can even use your potato masher for this as well to mash up your whole uh, tomatoes. Now I like to just season my beef as it starts to cook um, and turn brown. I like to season with garlic powder, onion powder, uh, some black pepper, even some uh, kosher salt if you will, and some oregano. So I like to mix that around and let all the meat get nice and flavored. And I pull my meat uh, back from the center to the side so that I can um, get all of that fat to drain in the center. And as that's going and it's draining in the center, I add in my tomato mixture. I just add in some hot pepper seeds, some sugar, and all those other ingredients that we added in the meat adding your garlic and also some basil i added in some uh, sweet basil as well as my uh, jarred tomatoes you can add uh, whatever favorite your favorite sauce is now this is where i like to put a potato uh, a paper towel i'm getting tongue twisted a paper towel in the middle so it just soaks up the rest of that oil and I use anything that's like a slotted spoon, or in this case, I'm using a spider to uh, take my ground beef and add it to my tomato sauce. And as I'm doing that, uh, I also get my, cut up my uh, turkey sausage, Italian turkey sausage, and I add that to the mixture as well. If it's too thick for you, you can add in a little bit of your pasta water to thin it out just a little bit but this is a uh, good um, this is good for me I think um, you can add in pasta water I think I add in a little pasta water a little bit later on but I put a lid on and let it go for about 35 to 45 minutes I'm using bucatini pasta and that bucatini pasta is going to have it has holes in the middle a hole in the middle in the center of the pasta so it kind of soaks up all of that um, sauce so this is how we ate it when we were kids and my mother would make use spit thin spaghetti or just regular spaghetti i'm using bucatini today because i want to be fancy so uh, we just stir this around and then i plate it just like so and add a little parsley to it and this this is what you get this is my home style spaghetti just like my mom used to make or you can even call it hood spaghetti it's so delicious and flavorful and that sauce gets right into that pasta thanks for watching and bye for now